let's talk about some tips and tricks when it comes to these little buggers, tent pegs. First one is you'll see that I've taped off some of them. That's for camouflage and also to preserve a little bit of the metal. The next little tip is when you insert these little buggers, you're gonna to want to insert them at a 45 degree angle. What this is gonna do is it's gonna help fight the tension of the line or bungee that it's supporting. Next up is while you're inserting these at your 45 degree angle, if you hit a rock, if you hit anything, stop, back it off and try again. Trust me, against a rock, these will lose every single time and you don't wanna bend or damage your equipment. The next trick is if you're trying to remove these from your tarp or shelter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a, another peg and we're gonna hook and then pull it out. The reason we do that is it stops us from tugging on the eyelet, which ultimately can damage your shelter. So it, it's the little things that matter, guys. Make sure that you're doing those little techniques to help you preserve your pegs and your shelter. Next up, let's talk about the basher pole. So we've seen these in the video. Some tips with these are when you're using this pointy end, this is what you put through an eyelet. And if you have to support the inside of the tarp or basher, you use the flat end. You can also use a little bit of uh, tape on the end of these and help reinforce. Another good rule of thumb is we never put this on the actual material of the shelter. We only put it on reinforced parts. We discussed in our shelter basics video, the different types, you're gonna get reinforced webbing. You're gonna put this on the reinforced webbing part of the shelter. That way you'll be sure not to rip through and damage your shelter. When stowing these, we're gonna unscrew them. You'll see that they completely come out. What I like to do is fully collapse them and then I just tighten it finger tight. These are good quality steel, but guys, don't go cinching these down. You only need it hand stiff, you know, until it's supporting the weight. So don't go crazy. Again, you don't want to damage these. So there you have it, guys. There's some tips and tricks when it comes to your basher poles. Another little freebie is we can actually use two of these as a rifle shooting support as well. So they're absolutely little versatile tools.